Hello Internet people, my name is Robert and in this video I'll show you how to add a portfolio section to your page in Elementor. And the portfolio will have filters like this, so it will only show the items in the same category. And if you click on one of the items, it will take you to a separate page where you can add images, videos, text and anything you need to showcase your work. Tip sweat punch. So I'm here in my WordPress dashboard and here we need to install two new plugins. So let's go to plugins and add new. First, we're gonna install Live Mesh and it's an Elementor plugin. Let's see, it's this one, Live Mesh add-ons for Elementor. Let's install it. And this one comes with a lot of different kinds of add-ons, not only portfolio, but other stuff as well. And then don't forget to click on activate it once it's done. You can just skip this stuff here. We don't need this. And since we are on this page, let me show you one thing here in Elements tab. Here you can deactivate any of the elements that you don't want to use. So if you're for sure you're not going to use Carousel, you can deactivate it. In that way, your WordPress loads slightly faster with Elementor because it has to load a bit less code. And so if you do deactivate, just click on Save Settings and that way it will update things and back to general. Let's go back to plugins, add new. And here we need to look for portfolio post type. That's what we're looking for. And it's this one, first one. Let's install it. And then don't forget to activate it. All right, we are now set. So all we have to do is now go to that page where you want to add your portfolio. So I'm going to navigate quickly to mine. So pages. And then I have here homepage, which is, uh, I'm still working on it. So edit with Elementor. Arnie, you still with me? Just scroll down to the bottom of the page and then just click on the red plus sign and it will add a new section to the bottom of the page. You can later move this on somewhere else. No problemo. And we can add posts grid. We can add it right now there. And right now this is a post, so this is a blog post and you will not see anything else. So you don't have a portfolio yet, but that's what we installed right now. So let's go back to the dashboard. And here you can see that we have a new menu here, portfolio, and you can go to all portfolio items. And this is where you're going to create your portfolio pages. And these will also appear in the portfolio uh, block here. So let's start, let's uh, create one and add new. And here, if you scroll down and you can choose the content layout. So you have Aster settings. I'm just gonna select the full width contained. And you'll notice that we don't have the option for Elementor. That's because we need to set it. So let's go to Elementor and right click on settings. Just open it in new tab and we're gonna add portfolio and then save changes and close this one we won't need it so now let's give it the name uh, you can give it already the case study or whatever you want it to be so this is the name that will show up everywhere so this is the title so just add the title and publish publish again all right let's refresh this page because I want to edit this in Elementor. So one thing what I didn't do is I didn't add this to category or in, I didn't give it any uh, tags. So here on the right, portfolio category, it's important that you add them because this is what, what you can filter on all of the portfolio items in, on your homepage. So let's say this will be about zero. You just add it there and uh, analytics and you can click either on this button or just on enter on your keyboard and it will add it there so now this case study will be in both of these categories and there'll be more categories to come if you want you can add tags but for me they're not very useful in featured image is actually the image that will show up in home page so in the in the portfolio grid so it's important to add it also if you want to show an excerpt then you could add it here, but I'm not a big fan of that. 
So I want the, the whole text to show up once the user lands on the case study. And the rest, I think we are okay. So update. You can edit in Elementor. And now I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna create a very simple portfolio page and it works exactly the same as any other Elementor page. So you can add all the same elements, videos, images, text, whatever you need, all in Elementor. And as you can see, I've created a very simple page here. I just have an image, the title and some text, but you can add much more to it. Let's update it. Let's say you finish with this, let's update it. And go back to the dashboard. In this case, it's the portfolio overview like this and back. No, I actually, I want to see the portfolio, everything in portfolio. Then let's create a few more just so that we have some examples. And I'll pause the video while I add the two other ones. And now you can see we have three items. Let's head back to the page. We want to add the portfolio section. And just in case, let's say the change is here. And then refresh the page. and scroll down again. Now I can edit this post grid and now I can, instead of this, select portfolio. And you can see you already start seeing those images. And now you can update these things here. So for example, for taxonomies, you can add portfolio. So then you see as, as you add these here, you just click into it and then there's a drop down. You see that they appear here as the filters. And now you can also reduce the post per page. I'm going to keep it to three for now. And for the order, you can change the order. For example, no order will just be the order they were added to uh, WordPress. And then you have post content. You see, it's really hard to see these elements right now. But uh, for me, I don't need this taxonomy information. I'm going to disable some of these just because I feel like they're not very useful. For example, this excerpt, uh, it shows some of the text already pre pre shows it. It's really up to you if you like this stuff. I like to keep it very clean. No author, the publishing date, I'm not sure it's important for a portfolio and even the taxonomy like this. All right, this looks good. But now I want to also see my text. I'm going to go to style and here, Heading color, primary grid filter. These are these guys here. You can switch them to white. Also the hover. And then this little, the one selected filter, I want to have it yellow. And typography, oh, I think I'll just select the primary so that it's a bit thicker, like that. Then you have grid thumbnail. But to be honest, the colors don't matter right now. I think this is fine. There's uh, nothing wrong with it. Then entry title. So this is this one here. No, I'm just not gonna change it to white. And white for hover. Could be also something a bit, something different, like a bit grayish like this. Yeah, very subtle. I don't know if you see it now h3 i'm gonna keep h3 as these but the heading will be h2 so all of these headings actually should be h2 so i'm gonna check if that's the case yes yes except this one should be the header one so then you have like a proper uh, taxonomy on your site proper structure on your site good let's go back Also, I noticed that this is slightly different, so I want to change the typography for this one. I'm going to use primary like that. So now it's more in line with the others. Okay, good. This looks good. If I click on these, even in Elementor, it already updates things. You see that they change as I click on this. So the filters work nicely. Then let's click on update. One thing I noticed that the read more is missing. So I'm gonna just come here, post content, 
And I want to see the read more here. Like this. It's there. Very unnoticeable. Let's change the color of it. So then it will pop up more. In this case, actually, maybe the blue one would be nice. Yes, like that. Like this. I like, I like this structure right now. And in the settings, you can change this title. So we could call this case studies. And if for some reason you don't want them to be filterable, then you just remove it and the filters go away. And here you can choose the portfolio category, although in this case it's already correct one, but just to make sure it's correct. And then gutter, it just means the gaps here. So if you want it to be the, that the images are close to each other, you can do it like that. So it's really up to you how much you, you like. I'll leave it like this. Okay, I think the portfolio looks great. If you add more items, obviously you're gonna have them uh, here either under each other or you can also have a scroller here. So I'm gonna update this page. And now always double check that everything works on the front end. So just refresh your website and you see that you have everything here and it works nice. And if you click into it, you'll end up on a page this doesn't look that good right now just because I didn't spend too much time on this. I think if you have some portfolio items, you want to really spend time on this so that it works nicely. And you can also go from one portfolio to another with these buttons here. You see this is completely empty just because I didn't add anything to this case study too. And since you are in process of creating a portfolio, you might need some stock images. Check out the first video for my favorite free sites. Or maybe you want to add an Instagram feed to your website. That's also easy to do. Just follow the tutorial that shows up in the second video. Whoosh!